young men about to join us for lunch are, amongst many other things, best mates. Best mate number one is funny, good with babies, and has the same initials as Rolls Royce. Please welcome a quality vehicle and a great ride. Roland Rivron! <laughs> is also funny and unbelievably musical and if that wasn't enough he's done sexy to boot he has the same initials as jensen healy let it go give it up for a man who handles beautifully and has a sporty chassis jules holland <laughs> Yeah. Really? Something, oh, something, no. something. Same suits. Damn. Is that on purpose or is it just a telepathic no. thing? I'll tell you what it is. Uh, I live in Muswell Hill. Uh, Julian lives in uh, Greenwich on the hill there by the observatory. And you can see my bedroom window. Through the telescope? From where he is. With a magnifying glass and telescope, we get a perfect, and a periscope in fact. <laughs> you get a perfect <laughs> image. And I yeah. like to look, try and watch one of the great things about living in an observatory in Greenwich is that you have great high powered telescopes and you can see people all over London getting dressed in the morning. It's, it's not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I can select, dial in the selector I want, and this morning I you selected selected Roland. 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 We've got to try that. This is Ben's uh, special uh, chocolate stir fry. Can I just made. say? Can I just start <laughs> by <laughs> saying that Roland and I didn't. Fit, we're very pleased to be here, and we're Gorgeous. big fans of the show. But but there is a big but. We did think that perhaps we weren't being treated with the full <gasps> regard that some people have been, because we were just getting a sandwich. Mm. We had been saving ourselves for some weeks, and we thought that Ben would come all the way from Australia to make some cordon bleu dish. He's very young. He's a very young thing, and I think he thought this was oat cuisine. Look at, do we just taste this? Have just, a taste, lads. Actually, you need a spoon, because you can't drink it. Hang on, so we're starting with the dessert as well, yeah? Yes. It's all mix and match. He's got to try it. It's Australian That way. way madness lies. I know it lies that way. These sandwiches are, are very good, oh, yeah. though, I have to say. He's excellent. That's good. No, nope, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, just... All right. Uh, what yeah. do you want? Nothing. I'm just trying to make everything nice and cosy for us all. That is disgusting. Can I try it? anyway, Ben. Lovely. It's the combination oh. of Tic Tacs and strawberry that I find so endearing. Oh, oh. Uh, don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's pretend. The chocolate-covered crispy cereal bits have gone really soft. Horrible. There Can wasn't I, a bit where it was no unpleasant has happened to this, has it? Well, I, I, <laughs> that's evident, I think, in the taste of it, yes, that something unpleasant along the way has happened. It was a nice treat. I think it's going to catch on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would you call it if it was... Uh, I'd call it disease. <laughs> <laughs> nice it's, name for... It's nice that name. catching. It's hey, can I have a couple of diseases? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of yeah. nice, yeah. Uh, disease for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you two know each other? Do you go way back, as they say? I don't know. When did we first meet? In the dressing room. Oh, us? No, you two. You two. You two. Well... It's a long way back. I, at one point, uh, was about to go on tour. Before I had an orchestra, well, when the orchestra was just a drummer. And I needed a, and a particular drummer who Gilson and I worked with had had his arm broken in the car crash. Did anyone out and get work? Um, did you do that? Yes. to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick Mayle, who was on, uh, said, hey, I know a man who lives with me who's a brilliant drummer. And yeah. Roland was living in a flat in the Old Kent Road, Rick Mayle at the time. <laughs> um, and then Roland came around and said, he was a brilliant drummer. He also was the quietest drummer in London. I am known as the quietest drummer in London. That's why I just constant work in restaurants and everywhere. Just, <laughs> is he in? I don't know if he's here yet. Yeah, oh, there he is, yeah. <laughs> with, with brushes. Straight oh, brushing. you get a lot of Very jazz brushing. work, then. Very, oh, yes. Brush work is jazz work. But, but do, 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 he can do, swing. Do, 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 he can do, swing. Do, 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 do. Swing with the best of them. Yeah. yeah. Was it love at first sight when you met? a weekend swing thing. It's, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Nothing. it. It's sort of Hawaii Five-O you've got there. <laughs> Did you, did you, were you good mates to start, to, from the very start? Did you sort of click? Was there something that happened? There was a, a magic? clicking. There was a clicking because... Uh, that was your dodgy hip joint. You, yes. <laughs> before I knew you, uh, my mother, why, God forbid, I don't know, she was watching the Tube, uh, the television, television show you were on, um, uh, which is a pop thing, isn't it? She was watching it. I mean, you know, she's my mother. I don't know what she gets up to. She was watching it and um, she said, she phoned and said, Roland, I've just seen someone on the television that's just like you. I don't think we had the same students then. <laughs> well, yeah, well, but that's strange, um, no? there was a mannerism thing and then you when sound, we met. You sound quite you similar. You do sound quite similar. You've got the same well, intonation. Then, what a uh, shame. Then, then, a little bit. Then, uh, then the next thing is he came round to my house on fireworks at night. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I lived in this flat with a sort of roof garden at the back. And Ronan said, I think it would be best if a firework went off from the very top of the roof behind us. So he climbed in a very dangerous manner yeah. onto the roofs of the buildings, onto the chimney, and let a rocket off from his head. And that was the first time I met him, really. And people were saying, do, do you know him very well? And I said, no, but I, I really do rather like him, and I, I'd like to get to know him better. Uh, before he dies. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Freud's got another building unsuccessfully. Mm. They're all, what are they all eating? They're all eating they food. eat stuff. There's some things there. There's, there's so, cakes and stuff there. So all that behind the camera is edible. <laughs> Would you rather have something from the audience? Do you want us to get something? No. Does, have a nice Does anybody have like... anything to offer? Anyone Rolling anything jewels. really classy? Yeah. Anybody got anything Butty? back there? <laughs> Anybody got anything back That's there? I'm putting in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, moving on swiftly. <laughs> swiftly moving on. Uh, what, what do things do you have in in common? What are the sort of main features? Triang Minic Motorway. Now what? I right, I read Simple, this. Right. Just one word. These I should explain. Am I right? This is like miniature <laughs> railways, but motorways. Yep. Yeah. Explain. The word sad Thank you. is creeping. It's creeping into my head. <laughs> uh, the word sad because you're hoping to be invited and you're f you are Damn. afraid you might not be to be part of creating. I want to see creating. it. No. I want to see it. Let me explain it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. Okay, Embrace. well, explain it. In about 1965, for the children that didn't like railways, there was the new thing was motorways. Um, people having cars, and the motorways were seen as the great romantic way of getting us about. Mm. Which Roland and I still see. So we them. use them. You used to mention the Granada motorway services, yeah. that's a yeah. treat. Woolly Edge, been there. Woolly Edge, we've been there. Woolly Edge, we've been there. Not that Peston. Mm. Knutsford. Knutsford is great. Gateway to the West. Yes. Yes. I sat on the best loo in Britain. I think it was Ilfriston. Anyway, back to what oh, we were talking about. Yeah. Yes. Did you sat on the same seat, yes. maybe? Yeah, did they have that up on the thing? Anyway, <laughs> so to get back to the point, that they made for five years, it didn't really catch on, little vehicles. And they weren't They're racing gorgeous. cars, nothing like that. Just buses, the odd Jaguar, the odd Thing in the high street. It was. The high street in miniature. Yeah. So Ron and I both had these and have now managed to have got some more of them. And we are building what you would call a little world. A utopia. Yes, a utopia. <laughs> and on our layout, on our layout, friends like yourselves would come round and we'd say, we like a garden there, you've got a square foot. Everybody's got a square foot. Yeah. Do, what, do what you want. And some people, they'll make a little sort of a crack house in red light district. That's what <laughs> the people are. That went very quick. Other people. That plot. Other people <laughs> will come in and make it. Snapped up. Oh. Make, you could get something like this and you can make a lovely little garden, you see. Oh. What have you made with yours? I'm busy making a little volcano in the corner. And Good. when people come in with their pipes or cigars, mm. you ask them to blow and to all the time. Oh. Oh. Like interactive, you see. Yeah. You don't need um, internet and all that. You don't no. need to get interactive like that. No. Minic. Minic. Can I build Leatherhead? Yeah, if you a like it. A miniature leatherhead. I think you could build Croydon. What you I need a lot, a lot of stuff to build Croydon. A lot of sort lot of, of breeze blocks. Low level stuff. stuff. Yep. High rise. Is it? Seriously high rise. I've not yeah. been there for a while. It's, it's the Dallas. Changed. It's That's a it. dream yeah. of a city. Mm. I call it a city. It's Dallas. It is a bit like Dallas, isn't you know? it? Mm. Have you two been on tour together? Have you, have you banged drums for him? Yes. Oh yes. We uh, we toured uh, extensively one summer uh, as a trio uh, with Malcolm Hardy as the tour promoter. Uh, he sat in the back of the car between me and Keith Wilkinson, the, the, the bass player, and he hadn't washed for about three years. <laughs> nice! Yeah. Which was great. It was, I think, the hottest summer in about 20 years, wasn't yeah. it? Did he hum? No, we didn't let him do anything no, like that. No, wasn't mate. It was No, it just stank. But Roland made me realise, you see, I didn't have an orchestra then, there was just the three of us. But he made me realise that it was such pleasure and such joy being on tour with people that I must get more people mm. to go out with. But do you know that he is the greatest gentleman that probably you've ever had on Oh, Bish Bosh, no. No, let me tell the no, public. Please. Let let me, stand up. Let me tell the public. <laughs> stand up and leave. Let it be known. Um, uh, that one evening, he came in and he'd had a light ale and he, unfortunately, for various reasons, he had to share an attic room with Keith, the bass player. On tour. He came in to the room, having had a light ale, didn't want to turn the light on, Keith's asleep, he can hear the door open, Roland trying to be as quiet as possible, coming across the room, didn't turn the light on, mm. but Keith's just half awake, and then he hears this, and then this... <laughs> but Roland still didn't turn the light on because he didn't want to wake Keith up and bit his lip. And then in the morning, Keith woke up first and saw Roland there, laying in bed, a complete pool of blood, where he had smashed his head wide open on a beam. But because he's a gent, he would not think of disturbing his fellow uh, family. That is so sweet. I was stuck to, the, to the, the laundry there. I just, as I got up, the sheet came Matted. with me. Oh, no. Oh, it was horrible. You've got, now, got a, you've got a bigger orchestra now, haven't you? You've got your rhythm and blues orchestra touring at the moment. He plays over sometimes. When really? Do you play? play? Yes, sometimes. I do. Mm. Some people get open-top red sports cars. He gets a slightly bigger band. Yes. <laughs> I think we know what we're talking about. <laughs> so, you, you're going... <laughs> are you don't going... get that. No, anyway. Let's move along. Okay. Being with Ben Unwin in so long has addled your mind. Mm. It's addled your mind. He was... He's a sore spot. He loved you. 
He doesn't he, waste he, any time. I think no, he, was, no, he, he was straight was, on the money there. He was pretending for television. Oh, he's only here for a day, is he? He's just here for a day. <laughs> well, he's a fast worker, I tell you, in a day. It's good. So, um, are you are you on tour this this autumn? Are you sort of? Oh yes. In fact, uh, Roland might join us sometimes on percussion. Mm. Cool. For, uh, for sometimes, uh, it's quite dangerous for his percussion work. I don't know if you've ever seen there was a. You know, he can play the whole orchestra of the room, the, everything in the room with, with percussion. Uh, but my orchestra, the whole 13 piece, will be frenzying throughout Britain through November and December. Mm. Right. And there's a new album to coincide with that. Lift the Lid, as it's uh, conveniently called, um, will, be, uh, uh, will be released. This has already been released. <laughs> yes, we I'm promoting it. Right, uh, but that, but, um, you are releasing uh, one at a time, aren't you? It's one, a very gradual thing, one record at a time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's, it's breaking a record yeah. at a time. Right, yeah. So for it's November and December, you might be able to see me in London, but you'll certainly be able to see me. Mm. I'd like you to come and we could give oh, you loads. I'd oh. love to. No. Come. Yeah. I saw you in 88, actually, the big band. Where? Edinburgh. Oh, no, Don, nice, uh, absolutely mm. Don. Well, I'm pleased that Don, you can come. Don, what's that? What's that sort of thing? Was he playing with us? The Don. Like Don Corleone, the head of. The chief. Don. It was chief. You were playing like the head of Don Corleone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of guys we are. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, wait, what it basically is, it's a desperate effort by Mel and I to try and be straight, to be cool. try and be hip, to be cool. instead of rather lame and middle class, which is hip's what we are. Hip's better. You were really hip. Don. With hip. Hip, it's all to I do with the body, isn't it? I word Don from now on. Don. Don. Don is, yeah, yes. Don. Don in. Don in good time, mate. Don. Is there, is there anything like about the other person that really annoys you? Jules, is there anything about Ron annoys you? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> No, what could possibly annoy Aww. anybody about that dear, kind He's man? <laughs> Search, feel, have a look, try and rummage. <laughs> <laughs> because now it's my turn to talk about you. <laughs> There's one thing that really upsets me. Um, <laughs> about Get it out now, uh, Julian on. Holland, who's sitting next to me. Um, he was a, a sickly child um, in his youth, <laughs> and he's not lost that. <laughs> He's as consumptive cold. Today, as we speak, he's suffering. He's got a cold. What is it? A dribble, a cold? What have you got? Something oozing. <laughs> Light bubonic. Light um, bubonic, yes. Yeah. Syphilitic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's with bubos. No, but it's always a nasal thing with him. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Holland. Uh, could we look inside your left trouser pocket? This is what really gets my goat. Come on, out with it. Wait, why I, do people I, do this? I, I can't. I Come can't, on. I can't help the way that God made me. Lovely. Let's give that a really good. It's got my name. It's monogrammed and snotty. It's monogrammed and personalised. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's lunchtime. <laughs> I can't believe I've done that. No, you've touched it. Yeah. yeah. The soil. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cleanse those hands. <laughs> Briefly, for the final thing, um, you were on Desert Island Discs recently and you, you named Elgar, a Dream of Durantius, oh, yeah. as one of your favourite pieces of music. I wouldn't see you even as an Elgar man, really. Well, I did explain to Suze, uh, he, Su Suze, well, Suze, Suze, Suze I did say to her, it's not necessarily, I mean, I do like that record, but they're not necessarily my favourite records, but records that I wish to accompany me. To the desert journey. island. To the desert island, you see. Records that travel. Mm. Records that would travel well, and records that the creatures on the desert island might enjoy as well, who would be my new friends. <laughs> and you, your luxury was, of course, the grand piano, but what would, what would your luxury be, Rowan? What would you take on to the a desert island. deserted island? Um, minic. Uh, maybe a minic, maybe Julian, but probably a wine cellar. Good man. Yeah, that's a very good That call. led all the way back. To the houses <laughs> to of the Parliament. <laughs> Especially a large distillery transported to an island. <laughs> you and your booze. Can I ask you one final thing, Jules? This is your album. Will you sign it for me? It oh. would be. It would be an honour, a privilege, and you'll see that's all in miniature on the front. There. I know. I, I actually thought that was you. I had to do a double take. <laughs> if we can see this mm. here, there's a very stick small on the back, but there's all people, little people with this all dolls. There's little people. Thing. This time, this time, I think I want you to do it um, with a pen and in your hand. I've got yeah. a pen. Oh, because he does do a lot of tricks. I've got a big pen. Just Sue, thanks, thanks for the best was, night of was, my life. It was, thanks wow. for the, yes. <laughs> what always I, trying, always lame no, trying. No, it was lovely. I, too... Lovely. Too lads, if I can call what? you lads. Yes. In a slightly Don way. I thought you'd gone. I can't here. spell you. <laughs> will you. Will you join us later for, for a... Don't make me laugh. For a, uh, for a bit of a knees up around the piano. Knees up where? How far are they going to go? Knees up Mother Brown. <laughs> to the oh, see some Good. Right, OK, I thought it was a visual thing again. Lovely. Because <laughs> after the break, we're going to be in the lounge with an extra uh, special I, guest. I couldn't need any more, sorry. No, we're full. <laughs> Thank you so cool. much. He's, <laughs> he's the star of the new Disney extravaganza, Hercules, and he's also genuine Hollywood hunk, Tate Donovan. You'd be mad to miss it. See you in three. Sandwiches! <laughs>